science involved in this popular sport of football and uh, we will show you three examples of Newton's, of Newton's uh, three laws. I hope you enjoy uh, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope we will ruin your life by introducing you to the science in this sport. Okay, I will demonstrate one of Newton's first law of motion in the sport of football. It states that um, an object will stay at rest or remain in motion unless a force acts upon it. Right now, I am rest, stand, resting or st standing right here and not moving. Jaleel, on the other hand, will uh, tackle me as the force that acts upon me, like right now. Good. Okay, I'll, this is another example of the first law of motion in football. Right now, Jaleel is about to punt the ball. So for now, it is staying at rest, and his punch will be the force that acts upon it. Okay, we're this is the third example of Newton's first law of motion. When a, a force will stay stay in motion or stay at rest unless a, a force acts upon it. So right now, Julio will throw the football really, really hard. No force is acting upon it besides gravity, so that's why, it, and because of the gra force of gravity, it fell down. If there was no force, it would keep going in the way that Julio threw it into the trees, and we'd lose a ball. Sorry for the inconvenience of voicing this over, but you would not hear me anyways if you saw the video by itself. So, we're going to find the force of Mazin's tackle by finding his mass and his acceleration for the second Newton's second law of motion is the force of an object of an object's impact is his mass times acceleration. We can find that Jamazin's force by finding his mass or how much there, of him there is until and his acceleration until the point that he hits me. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is another version of the tackle is at the handoff. Like right now, which is a sort of hand to me. At the handoff the players stand very close to each other compared to when they're just running. Mazin is just right five meters from me. So, thus they have less time to accelerate and they have the same mass, so usually the force will be smaller. Like, now. Okay, so this is the third example of Newton's second law of motion. Delia will be throwing a ball, and since the for we can find the force of the football if we find the mass or how much of the football there is, and the acceleration of the ball when it flies through the air and hits Mawson, until it hits Mawson. Now, so Jaleel will throw the football, and he catch, catches it. The thing is, that's, that was a pretty small football. That is a pretty small football compared to other footballs. If we use a larger football, the force would be larger for there's a much bigger mass in larger footballs. I'm sorry, but I'll have to use the inconvenience of voicing over again in the next segment of the video, which is another example. Okay, the example is that when someone runs, they push down the ground as the ground pushes back on them. Thus, they can run. If the ground didn't push back on them, they would have a very hard time running. Okay, now my second example is that I'm gonna tackle Marvin, and um, and while I'm tackling on him, I'm pushing on him, and he's pushing back on me. Okay, um, thank you for watching this film, and I hope, when, uh, I hope um, you think about new things, laws whenever you play football, and it ruins your whole life.